previously on the last episode of Aberdeen FM. So, from season 1, it wasn't that bad. We ended up in 4th place. And, you know what, to be fair, it was a pretty disappointing experience. <laughs> I mean, it's, you gotta start somewhere, honestly. I would have to say, so 4th place would be a best place to be. Uh, we can wait into the shadows and get all the old firm when they let their guard down. So because we are 4th place, this allows us to go and fight in the Europa Conference Cup. Another good thing is Mjowski busted uh, 31 goals and then to the net the whole season, which I think is pretty good. And uh, the board has given me a B-, minus. Which uh, I can be proud of because, you know, this is kind of like uh, some school grade here game. One thing I can say and surprisingly predicted that Giovanni Dos Santos would be the merch. So after setting a first season start, my second season goal is 1. Try to get to the Europa Conference League group stage. 2. Try and get third place so we end up below the old firm. And 3. Bring in more players for the Y squad. Now I gotta reshape the team. The likes of Deshaun Bernard, William Scales and uh, Coulson gone back to the respective clubs as they were on loan. So and I was given such a promising budget, I must say. But I mean, in these circumstances, we just have to deal with what we got. I knew I needed to infiltrate Rangers and Celtic to beat them. And don't worry though, Cristaldo it will be is still there at the team. So Dos Santos being sold off and the fans weren't happy, but we will tackle this issue. That being said, many players were signed, and maybe too much, but I am going to close my eyes and forget. And we're just going to talk about some of the teams. First, I need to bring in a player to build up Y squad. You want to know why I saying Y squad? Well, you know, you've got the X Men, you got Deadpool having the X Force, so I thought, why not the Y squad? <laughs> also, just to give me an excuse to tell. When I say it's going to give me an excuse, I mean it actually is going to give me an excuse to go and say, tell me why I ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why I ain't nothing but a mistake now at Japan. I wanna hear you say I'm part of the team, okay? But yeah, we actually brought in uh, Ajapong from Ascoli uh, for about, I think it was 200k. The reason I brought him in, actually, he is my go-to probably right back. I've used him quite a few seasons. I actually had him back when I played Sasulu. Then there's been a couple times where I've actually brought him in to help me out on the right back. So we got him in. Now, like I said before, we need to infiltrate Ranger Celtic and I need to know the way they play the game. We need to know their play book. So luckily, we bought in two players that were free at the time of the end of the season. So we will happen to get their playbook in that process. We brought in Scott Robertson from Celtic and Philip Helenda from Rangers. We didn't stop actually there though. So I need some very good quality players and I couldn't think of uh, any players at the top of my head and I kind of was sat there and one day I watched a uh, Zealand video uh, about budget players and there were there he was Sufanat Muenta and like that I realized we have found DeGrasse's partnership the boy himself and you know when you think about it we need some Asian players in our team I would say. You know what, considering the fact how Celtic play and they've got like a lot of Asian players in their team as well, you know, this is where we got to take that formula. It was come together quite smoothly though. And of course, uh, we did buy some other players, but they're all, I mean, they're all side characters. They're all side characters. But I know what you're going to be thinking when you're looking at this team. I'm just going to say this, you know, simple answer. I don't have a clue what I'm doing here, but it's going to give you a, a, a nice story. You know, we decided to go into our first game. And our first game was up against Celtic. And yet again, right off the bat, I was dreading of this moment. and But nonetheless, we are more prepared this time. We have more quality and we have their playbook thanks to Scott Robertson. We went into the game, the suspense was in the air, and I, wouldn't you believe it, we won. Our young Thai man, Muenta, started the opening, tapping in the goal by a cross from Masuzian, and then Miovski scoring the second. I guess the signing of uh, Scott Robertson did pay off, and we have found out all of Celtic's secrets. La Tudel, let's go! Up next was our very first game in the Europa Conference and it was our entry to show our presence to the big boys of a Diddy Cup. 
and what better way than my first game to be up against a team called Ammonia? No, Ammonia? Ammonia. It's our first game, and we need to make a good impression. Though before we go into this game against them, we find out some horrible news. So they actually did a draw to for the next game after, and we ended up getting sporty CP. What a way to low blow me! You know, give me, you know, give me this good lineup for this match to then tell me sorry but you might you might die in the next game you might screw up you know i'm happy to say though that we did end up beating ammonia and it did take us to the penalty to get that win i must say it was very rough but i'm glad our team did manage to get to the only thing that was pretty a bit of a problematic is how much we tilted in the second round uh second leg i can't stress how much i sweated for that game though but then, anyway, off we go to our great as we then prepare for our Sporting CP. Uh, now, the C our Sporting CP already have the likes of Sebastian Coates, Antonio Adan, Adrissa and Dum Dumbia, and Marcus Sandwich. I cannot take on the stature of big boys in a team. Am I going to be backing off? Hell no! Nah. What I will be doing is trying to go in this with my dignity and with the power of Cristaldo by our side. I think we should be fine. First leg was us and Portugal and to say the very least we did end up losing 3-1 and they were running rings around us. It was a tough game, it was a tough game, uh, there was not much we could do about that. But that being said, the Grassa did give us a goal back in injury time which was a bit of a, you know, don't worry, don't worry, we still have a good chance. So we've taken it over to Pedroni City for the second leg and we needed a miracle, like absolute miracle and I don't know how we were going to do this but we needed it. You know what, we needed to make the greatest comeback alive and you know what, it was happening. Mackenzie crossed in, keeper fumbled and Precision headed it over the keeper to go into the goal. I thought they couldn't get any better until you see this beauty. And now, I would say game on. We actually now caught up with Sporting Lisbon. We have been given into this opportunity, this absolute beautiful chance to be able to bring Sporting CP to their knees. Sadly, they did score back by scoring a penalty. That being said, we did go into the extra time, but the saddest news of all came. It was all there. The stars were aligned. And it was taken away from me by the likes of Sebastian Coates. I was so close. It could have been another situation. A penalty. Uh, as much as the fans were devastated, I was devastated. I can only be proud of what they did and achieved. Sadly, this was the end of our European uh, moment there. We fast forward a bit to January and to give you the rundown I mean we ended up fourth place in January time and I have to say I have to thank uh, Rangers for that because they gave us a big massive haha we're going to beat the crap out of you. We ended up playing them three times in that space by like, who the heck plays a team three times in that space and not not even played all the other team twice. It was absolutely crazy and we did we did end up losing 1-0 to Celtic in the Sports Cup semi-final which uh, wasn't bad but it was just it's a little bit disappointing on that basis. In January we need to bolster the def defense and it's clearly it, I wasn't cutting it enough for the big guns and we need our playbook from our spies was not working. We we needed to sort scrap some players and bring in some new blood so we ended up uh, getting rid of Ramdani Familiar Castillo and Roos uh, due to not playing enough and we brought in defender Laborda, Loni Zidane Iqbal and Miguel Aziz. I know what you're saying, why did we bring in two midfielder when we need the ball? So defense, well I mean no wage contribution. In the Scottish Cup we did make our way to the semi-final in that but we did get knocked out sadly by a South again. You know, I'm, I'm seeing a running line here that we, we're just gonna get beaten up by Celtic every time. You know, seriously though, I wouldn't mind getting a chance in the final. The weirdest thing has happened. So in the second half of the season, I wasn't really paying attention to the league, late league table or anything. And we started going through the most craziest good run for our team. Like, when I mean crazy run, like apart from losing to Celtic, and drawing to Celtic and Hearts, we didn't actually lose any anything else or lost or dropped any points, which is really really good for us. Uh, which I never like 
fathom what was happening. It did come to my attention at the end of it all that I was actually second place in the league. I'm not gonna lie, that exceeded more than I would want to do because I wanted to try and reach third place. I was not expecting that and I did not expect Rangers to be inconsistent. But because of this, this means that we end up uh, getting qualified into the UEFA Champions League. And then on another post note, De Grasse ended up equaling Miovski's uh, goal season, one top goal scorer of the year, one young player of the year, which makes him now the prodigal son. I'm hoping our prodigal son will take us to more fame and glory in the next season. You know, I wasn't expecting to hit this high, but I'm glad it did in that sense. So hopefully we might help us to proceed further, I would say. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully I'll try and see, uh, I'm going to try and see who to buy now. So we end up in Champions League. We've got to bring more to the Y squad, you know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I, if, if you feel I'm going to get knocked out in the first round of the Champions League, comment Champions League Kek W. But uh, if not, don't worry. Hope you have a nice evening and I will catch you later. Bye bye.